Hello tout le monde, c'est Enora22, j'espère que vous allez bien. On se retrouve aujourd'hui pour Bacon Pines, un jeu édité par Follow Traveler et développé par Hiding Spot. Installez-vous confortablement sur votre canapé, votre lit, votre chaise de bureau ou sur vos WC, peu importe. Let's go Dear reader, allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Without you, there is no story. Chapter one. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. Donc tout se fait majoritairement avec la touche A. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. Rolo finally noticed the tears welling in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave. Ok, d'accord. Donc, si on résume un peu l'histoire, donc, euh, il y a six ans que ce petit personnage a perdu son papa et euh, sa maman est portée disparue. Ah bah Obtenu notre premier succès, Find a Charm, où il faut apparemment éternuer. Donc pour éternuer, il vous suffit de passer à travers le champ de... Je sais pas trop ce que c'est, des pissenlits probablement, ou peu importe. Alors on va cliquer du coup sur B, pour voir effectivement d'autres badges. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. J'explore un peu. Hein. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Lolo looked to the side suspiciously. Okay. Alors, on va aller voir du coup euh, la grand-maman. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. Ok, donc elle est en train de nous dire qu'on peut trouver un charme dans cette maison. On va tout explorer, hein. Grand had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. Donc on a trouvé un deuxième charme qui s'appelle Thunder. One of his father's old stethoscopes. Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Not for years though. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. Just some dusty knickknacks. Voir si on monte. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Okay. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Donc un autre charme, Hyde. bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Okay. On va tout faire. Grand's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Bon, encore un autre pardon charme pour euh, chill. Ah, on va pouvoir euh, descendre. On a mis un joli petit pull. Regardez ce qui se passe là. Pardon, j'ai coupé. A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Autre charme. Meals crowded the refrigerator, each labeled with the day of the week. Oh 
Oh my, this is quite exciting. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Step forth, dear reader. Ok, donc en gros, elle est en train de nous dire que euh, selon les choix qu'on va faire, cela va avoir des conséquences, donc un peu comme un euh, Life is Strange. Euh, donc on va regarder ce qui va se passer. Il est en train de jouer des heures de faire tous les charmes qu'on peut aussi. Hein. Beginner's Guide to Gardening laid open on the bench. Bon, je crois qu'on va aller par parler à mamie. The less grand new, the better for everyone involved. Alors, euh, eh bien, on va choisir Chill. We were just gonna go chill for the day. The best lies are built on truth. Easy. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. Alors, donc les charmes qu'on va trouver ont des mots, un mot bien spécifique. Et apparemment, il faudra les replacer dans la phrase pour que ça veuille dire quelque chose. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. Hello. Oh, on va demander. On va demander, donc on va se cacher. We were just gonna go hide for the day. Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. All's well that ends well. Du coup. On a obtenu 5 charmes et fait notre mission de dire à grand-maman que nous allions sortir avec Rollo. Notre prochaine mission, c'est d'être plutôt euh, avoir plutôt des problèmes avec Rollo. Donc, bon, tu n'écoutes pas du tout grand maman. Ah, je crois que la sortie elle est plutôt par là. Alors, il va y avoir plusieurs euh, succès, dont un où il faudra euh, faire en sorte de kicker un melon. On n'a pas trouvé encore de melon. On va s'y atteler. On va essayer de trouver un melon. En tout cas, là, il n'y en a pas. Oh, oh. 
For a town that saw few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. Chapter 2 Welcome to Beacon Pines. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered. Until the foul harvest and his sudden death. In the six years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. All right. Um... Oh, okay, gentlemen. William Kerr was the CEO of Perennial Harvest Company. He had become a fixture around town over the past few years. After the failing of Valentine Fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Augustus Valentine was not busy. Flustered, Gus instinctively loosened his tie. rien faire là non plus ah. donc là on est en train de chiller est-ce que je peux traverser le pont ouais. Mr. Sinclair continued snoring and lifted one eyelid just enough to see a tactic he often used to avoid undesirable conversation. pulled a pen from the pocket of his sweater vest and began to frantically jot something down on a clipboard. What the uh, yeah, say? <laughs> Pete's 
stopped scribbling and glanced up from the clipboard. Ok, bah, j'ai pas vraiment tout compris ce qui s'est passé, mais... Euh... Voilà, voilà. Ok, donc on va aller voir maintenant Rolo à la cabane dans l'arbre. Whenever Luca saw his dad's chair by the pond, it reminded him of the days they'd pack up a couple of sandwiches and fish until sundown. Oh là, je suis redevenu tout petit. Luca opened the tackle box and picked the perfect bait. Luca tied a junk. shoestring to the hook. What fish could resist a nice shoestring? Donc je peux pas aller plus loin. Ouf Il y a même de la pêche. Luca gently baited a feather onto the hook. Good for skimming the surface. Luca tied a shoestring to what fish could resist a nice shoestring. Uh -huh. ah, je peux pas aller non plus là-bas. Voilà. On a pêché un truc, on a pêché un truc ah non Ah, faut que je reprenne un... Luca tied a shoestring to the... What fish could resist a nice shoestring? Ah ouais, on y va. Pas réussir à pêcher un machin. Elle est mollo. Oui Une batte On a déjà pêché. Mmh. Bon, alors j'ai pas tout compris. Je pêchais une botte, quoi. As long as they kept old Jeff happy, they had an endless source of precious materials to add to the treehouse. After Luca's father had passed, Rollo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rollo's way of keeping him occupied. Je vais chiller sur le coussin. Ok. On certain nights, when the clouds were just right, the boys could tune into strange patterns of static. Rollo thinks it's aliens. He always thinks it's aliens. 
Lucas mm -hmm. Hunter Hill decommissioned for the summer. With the cold holding out longer than usual, he reconsidered its usefulness. Ça c'est pour redescendre. On va regarder avec lui. <laughs> Flaming chicken cup. <laughs> bon, c'est bien, il est content. Alors, euh, haha. Donc, on va. Euh. Je vais pas parler à lui encore. Ah bah c'est lui. Alors... Euh... On doit aller à la maison abandonnée. Holden Wilder ran the local paper of record. The Beacon Beacon. Ah, notre charm. Change. Mm -hmm. Miss Hatch could often be found near the fountain, too absorbed in a book to be distracted. Ok. Je sais pas, est-ce qu'on peut monter Ah, on peut monter. Ok, ok, donc on peut pas aller par là, donc on va redescendre. Ah, Est-ce qu'on peut aller Ah, on va déjà parler à tous les personnages. Oh, right. Rendez-vous avec Roxy. Oh, rendez-vous. This is an important turning point. The first time where your charms will change the course of fate. Okay. We only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Have no fear, we can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Well, now I'm just rambling. Okay. Where were we? Okay.
<rire> Il est nul. Bon, bah on est en trouble. Je ne pas que les renards, c'est des renards. Hein. Mange des carottes. Molo froze as Roxy took a step toward him, cracking her knuckles. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. Bah, apparemment, j'ai un seul charme à disposition, donc euh... In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. On va se faire engueuler. Alors, il faut qu'on a... qu aille euh, investiguer à propos de la maison de Valentine, qui, je, je le rappelle, est le maire. En fait, on a déjà un peu tout investigué, hein. Bit much, if you ask me. Let's go. Chit chat. Jeff's hardware closed down about a year ago. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. Qu'est-ce que c'est ça, un chien A promise Gran regretted the second it was made. Booth was brand new, part of Perennial Harvest's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. It didn't see much use. Alors apparemment, je peux soit monter euh, ou aller là. Alors non, apparemment, je peux pas aller par là. <rire> Alors, on va essayer de monter. After the foul harvest destroyed their wealth and reputation, the Valentines shuttered off their estate from the rest of town. Ah, bah on l'a trouvé. 
The Valentine Mansion loomed over every other building in town, both figuratively and literally. Mais ça, je l'ai déjà fait. Uh -huh. Oh, me dites pas qu'il faut que je retourne en arrière. Ça, ça m'embête. À moi que j'aille par là. The path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Luca often asked himself what Rolla would do, so that he could rule out that option. Ah bon. As sparks flew from the fence, Ooh. the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. Alors, je vais en prendre et je vais. One more to go. J'adore. On va balancer des trucs. The fence's buzzing gave way to silence. <laughs> Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. There was only one way to find out. Ok, donc là il n'y a rien. Il n'y a rien. The water looked almost disease. It flowed slowly into the woods. Donc en fait, je ne peux aller que là. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. The sound of footsteps grew louder. On a obtenu un charme. Un charme caca. steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. Uh, wait, on my cousin. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? I probably should have warned you about this. There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy. But don't let that discourage you. We will find the ending that this story deserves. I just know it. From here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Now, let's try something different. Okay. Donc là... Donc là, en fait, il faudrait qu'on retourne en arrière pour changer le charm et parler de caca, en fait. <rire> On va essayer. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. Sol 
Solomon Valentine, current ward of and future successor to the Valentine fortune, huffed as he brushed off his pants. <laughs> Solomon trifled a gesture toward the approaching heiress Valentine. En parlant du diable. Ok. Est-ce que du coup, donc non, tout ce qu'on a déjà, euh... ah, on va voir. Bon, voilà, on n'a pas vu le truc. Euh... Yes, électroquité. <rire> bon, on va refaire avec les fruits du coup. Ah, <rire> mal visé. <rire> bah alors, pourquoi tu les prends pas Rumble. Mm-hmm. 
Ok. Qu'est-ce qu'il fait Under the weight of the bag. Wolo felt around at the large sack which burdened them. He snapped off a tag from just within a small zipper opening in the bag. Donc là, il est en train d'ouvrir le sac. Wolo held the badge up to a faint shaft of light within the dumpster. <rire> ok. <rire> si tu m'entends crier, cours. Si tu ne m'entends pas crier, cours. De toute façon. <laughs> Lucas sat in the dark, tracking the sound of Rollo's footsteps as he ran. One, two, three. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rollo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. Thirty-five, thirty-six. 37? The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough! Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rollo. No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass! Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Beacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter 3 Finding a Friend The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. Oh là, c'est du morse. Gran's brow furrowed. She let out a long sigh. Her voice was quiet and even. Ok. Donc là, on a obtenu le succès. Ok. 
qui s'appelle Born in a Barn. Et donc du coup, faut pas sortir là. Regardez ce qu'on doit faire. Sortir, on va voir ce qu'on peut faire. Hop, hop. A faint electronic sound floated in the air. Ok. Qu'est-ce que je... Ne frappe pas la porte. Luca's mouth felt dry. Luca could feel his heart beating in his throat. Oh, donc Rolo n'est pas rentré à la maison. Bibliothèque Non, la librairie plutôt. Ah, c'est lui. Mmh. On va voir si on peut obtenir d'autres charmes. Ok, pas du tout. Je suis coincé. Problème. Toby looked up from the clipboard excitedly. Donc moi je sais qu'à un moment donné il y a un succès où il faut qu'on tape dans un melon mais euh, j'ai toujours pas trouvé le melon. 
Voir est-ce que si je monte, peut-être vers le café. Lors de ma première run, je n'étais pas descendue vers le musée d'histoire. C'est vraiment à ce moment précis et uniquement à ce moment-là que vous pourrez obtenir un charme spécifique vous permettant ensuite de débloquer le succès Agile Angler. Donc n'oubliez pas d'aller visiter le musée d'histoire. <laughs> the bottom corner shelf was a dusty array of thick science books. Only one binding was clean enough to read. Cellular biology and the chemistry of mitosis. Mm -hmm. Mycological phosphorescence. Otto volunteered at the library during the summers. He wasn't very social, so he'd dedicate each summer to becoming an expert in a single subject, making him a reliable source of very particular knowledge. If you were to ask Kato something he didn't know, he'd escape into the dusty old bookshelves and return with just the right thing. Kato was lost in his reading. Luca crooked his neck to see the title. Introduction to Melatology. Okay. Oh, un petit pingouin. He gestured to the shelves. Ok, on a obtenu le charm fight. Ok, donc là on a regardé si Rollo était à la librairie, il n'y est pas. Ah, C'est encore d'autres choses à pister. Le niveau de la table de la spin-offs. Donc je crois pas qu'on a trouvé quelque chose de... New, new. Regarde de là. Oh, the cows I've eaten. A salad-centric travel guide for the mildly adventurous. Sally Seashore's simple succulent sundries. Luca brushed off a smudge of dust. Or maybe it was flour. 30 recipes so easy you'll doubt it's even edible. Hmm. Succulent. A peek behind the curtain. The methods and ruminations of Patrick C. Montesquieu. 
one of the greatest acting minds of our time by Patrick C. Montesquieu. <laughs> Et là, on a obtenu le succès nerd. Parce qu'on a lu tous les livres de la librairie. Impressive, my dear, impressive. family moved often, giving her little time to establish any real connections. She would tell you she prefers it that way. Luca shifted his feet uncomfortably. Ok, donc là on va partir. Beck pulled a coin from her pocket. Ok, alors on va retourner par là, on va voir. Ah, oh, je suis coincé. After the foul harvest destroyed their wealth and reputation, the Valentines shuttered off their estate from the rest of town. On avait déjà fait ça tout à l'heure. The Valentine mansion loomed over every other building in town, both figuratively and literally. Ok. Non plus. Retourner alors par là. Ah. Oui, oui, oui. Ok. Ah, il y a un petit passage sur le côté. Luca felt a chill as he approached Beck. Her eyes were locked on the strange green liquid. The nearby grass was coated in a fine layer of frost. Luca watched as Beck dipped a broken tree branch into the goo. Beck's eyes widened as flowers grew from the dead wood. First small buds, which quickly bloomed into vibrant petals. As quickly as they had grown, the flowers began to shrivel and turn gray. Beck dropped the stick with a grunt of disgust. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Iggy took a step towards Luca, his sneer lit by the glowing puddle. Beck could see tears welling in Luca's eyes, his fists clenched. Some things about Beacon Pines were very different from the city, but a bully from a hayseed town is really no different from a city bully. Beck took a deep breath and thought. Ok, donc là on va devoir choisir un autre mode. Donc, time to burst out the... Mm -hmm. Tickle. Well, time to bust out the tickles. Oh, <laughs> c'est celui-là. Beck lunged forward and began to tickle under Tisha's arm. Tears began to form in Tisha's eyes as she gasped for breath between gales of laughter. Beck redoubled her efforts until Tish finally had had enough. Iggy's eyes darted around, a realization dawning on his face that he was now outnumbered. Iggy kicked at the puddle before making his escape. Beck shook the ooze out of her hair as best as she could. Chapter 4 the best policy. Okay. Luca paused for a moment, catching his breath. He'd only just met Beck, and somehow he already managed to drag her into this mess. Hopefully he could make it up to her. But finding Rolla was his primary concern. Alors. Est-ce que je peux aller par là? Non. Allez par là. Et est-ce que je peux aller par là non plus Ok. Roxy and Fitz looked drained. It was clear they'd spent all day searching. Roxy's temper could often be dismissed as the impatience of an older sibling, but this was the most intense Luca had ever seen her. Her eyes were wild and unfocused, looking straight through Luca. In a torrent of rambled words and tears, Luca broke down. Okay. 
Luca motioned to the phone booth. Mr. Nuncree gently placed one of his substantial hands on Luca's shoulder. Luca peered up at Mr. Nuncree. Kind eyes warmed a stern fate. There was a deeper emotion hiding beneath it all. It was subtle, but Luca could sense something eating away at him. There was a shame lurking behind those eyes, a deep sadness. If Mr. Nuncreed was that worried about Rollo, maybe he could help. Mr. Nuncreed raised an eyebrow. Mr. Nuncreed's shoulders slumped. A deep sigh bellowed from his chest. Luca attempted to take a step back, but Nuncreed's hand clamped down on his shoulder. With a firm shove, Nuncreed manhandled Luca into the phone booth. The door latched shut with a mechanical hiss. As Luca pounded the glass, the floor dropped from under his feet. The inside of the phone booth was now a loose capsule plummeting at gravity's whim. Luca winced and pressed his hands to the walls. As he braced for impact, the capsule hurried to a surprisingly smooth stop. He felt a cold rush of air and opened his eyes with hesitance. Two large figures in hazmat suits occluded his view. Luca heard the deep, resigned voice of Mr. Nuncreed over an intercom. He knows too much. The end. Wait, no, this isn't the end. I know there's still much more. Somehow this went wrong. Okay, let's try something else. Sur ce, je vous laisse. N'hésitez pas à vous abonner à ma chaîne YouTube ou à me rejoindre sur mon Twitch. On se retrouve pour la suite. D'ici là, portez-vous bien. À la prochaine. Ciao.